Good morning. Um, my name is Jeff Borswitz. I'm a resident of Orange County since 1974. Uh, small business owner here in the county. Uh, we have three cigar stores with cigar bars located in Orlando. And uh, I'm an avid cigar enthusiast. I'm here to talk about the executive order that bans the use of all tobacco products on Orange County owned or leased property. I had submitted online uh, a photo of the poster, but apparently uh, they didn't receive it. So I'll start off by, uh, originally there was a poster that was displayed at the entrance to the Orange County Administration Building. And this poster is still on display at uh, Kelly Park and at the Econ, Econ Water Treatment Facility. There's various places that this poster was put up. And I'll just read what it says. Uh, it says, attention smokers, please be advised this Orange County location will become a tobacco-free environment on January 1st, 2010. There will be no tobacco of any kind allowed on county property, including cigarettes, chew, dip, snuff, cigars, herbal tobacco products, and other smoking materials. In addition, all county employees will be required to complete a tobacco usage affidavit in September of 2009 in order to be, avoid being charged a $25 per pay period tobacco use surcharge. You must be tobacco free at the time you sign the affidavit and remain tobacco free for the entire 2010 plan year. Uh, since then, I'd emailed the mayor's office on April 1st to request a meeting, and I've reached out numerous times to discuss this issue, but all my meeting requests have been denied. Um, I have met with all the county commissioners and have watched the county commission meeting that was held in August of 2009, where due to health care costs, the commissioners voted to require county employees to sign an affidavit stating that they're tobacco-free, or else they'll get the $650 fee, uh, fine. It was decided at the county uh, meeting that the employees were allowed to smoke no more than four celebratory cigars a year, even on their time off or away from work. And I understand the reason for wanting to find employees to smoke cigarettes, uh, as there is evidence that cigarette smokers cost the county more to insure. However, there is no evidence presented that shows that cigar-only smokers cost the county any more to insure than a non-smoker. In fact, the National Cancer Institute did a study called monograph number nine. It was compiled with 50 years worth of data, and it shows that a one to two cigar per day smoker has the same overall mortality ratio as a non-smoker. The study also showed no increase in lung cancer or coronary heart disease than that of a non-smoker. Cigars are non-addictive, and most cigar smokers smoke in moderation and enjoy less than one cigar per week. So I ask, why can't an Orange County fireman or a police officer or any of the thousands of county employees have the freedom to stop by a neighborhood cigar store and enjoy more than four cigars a year without being fined? If the county is going to discriminate against cigar smokers and cigar stores, the county should also fine employees that are overweight, enjoy a beer, wine, or cocktail, or participate in sports on their time off. And it is proven that obesity, alcohol consumption, and sports injuries cost more in health care than the occasional cigar. Since my second question is how the county, the employee tobacco use fee that was approved and discussed by the commission was extended into an executive order that bans the use of all tobacco products including the cigars, pipes, and smokeless tobacco, both indoors and out, on county-owned and leased property. According to the mayor's chief of staff, this ban includes, but is not limited to, all county-owned parks, lawns, sidewalks, parking lots, parking garages, boat docks, boat ramps, water treatment facilities, and maintenance facilities. So basically, any property that is owned by the county or leased by the county it's illegal to smoke or use any tobacco products outdoors. This tobacco products ban was never discussed or approved by the commission. Since 2003, Orange County, as well as the entire state of Florida, has been covered by the Florida Indoor Clean Air Act, which bans smoking in all indoor workplaces, with a few exceptions, including bars and cigar stores. 
So why would the county take away the freedom of its citizens and tourists to use a perfectly legal and highly taxed tobacco product outdoors? Additionally, there's no scientific evidence that tobacco use outdoors causes any negative health effects to non-tobacco users. Orange County's outdoor smoking ban is highly discriminatory and nothing more than lifestyle control targeting people who enjoy the many different forms of tobacco. If the county is going to ban outdoor smoking under the guise of public health, barbecue grills need to be banned on the public parks and internal combustion engines should be banned on county property. Additionally, this county ban can also be used by an unscrupulous police officer to harass or shake down a law-abiding citizen who may be doing something as innocent as smoking a cigarette outside. This executive order is anti-business, un-American, and borderline unconstitutional. It takes away the freedom of people celebrating with a cigar at a family re reunion at a park. It makes a criminal out of ordinary citizens who may be walking down the sidewalk smoking a pipe. It would make a tourist smoking a cigar on county property a criminal. Should the county be spending our tax dollars on no tobacco signs and harassing adults who enjoy tobacco? Who is going to enforce this ban? Will it be the police? Or will we leave it up to the anti-tobacco zealots to be vigilantes and tell people to stop smoking outside? <clears throat> There's many more reasons that this should be reconsidered, and I urge the county commissioners to bring it up as a future topic of discussion to see if there can be a little more balanced tobacco policy for the county. <clears throat>